soon as I step into the cafe, I see Coco sitting in the middle of the sofa alone. You've come at just the right time. Ms. Rococo, please explain. Why am I prohibited from connecting to the tactical server? <laughs> Although it is said, please call me Coco from now on. Right? Me? <laughs> I almost read my own name. Huh? She didn't lose her temper. That surprised me a bit. Uh, Miss Rococo, or Coco, anything will do. No, only friends I approve of are allowed to call me that. Do you have any misunderstandings about the word friend? So if I ask you to leave the front line temporarily as a friend, you'll be fine with it, right? Uh, carrot and stick, huh? I'm quite curious, actually, Miss Rococo. I mean, I mean, Coco. Why do you always want me to retire? See, the fighting so fierce on the front line. You could get injured or even die. Don't you think being a cafe manager is so much better? I can't just sit back and watch everyone fight. I'm ungrateful. Actually, Operation Health Guy just reached a milestone. The remaining pursuit suite and preparations for the next phase can be done without you. Seriously? What about Irene and Wuxia? Or Wuxia? Uh, I will give them a holiday too. What about Uyu and Lita? I'll give them a holiday too. And Cornelia? Are you finished? You get on my nerve. I'm going to give the order now. All Squad 08 members are to leave the order of battle and undergo cafe management training for three months. Really? Huh? Uh, oh. So I'm just running the cafe now. I guess so. Have to figure out what uh, what all this means. Who are you? You always have the best brewing techniques, manager. Please don't call me by that nickname. Miss Catherine, a partner of Judas, came to the LA for a business meeting just like she said she would. Turns out that Judas' weapon modification business is just a cover after all. You could have told me earlier, you know. We're very serious about the weapon modification business. Like I said, Miss Rocco Gun is also one of our products. Let me translate. You mean that you and Miss Rocco Girl are very close. Coffee smells great. I wonder you and Juno could get permission to come to the island so easily. Princess Island is a place where people can come and go as they please. There must be more to that business meeting of yours. Manager, you have to understand that Rose and Al the Allied Army are not just two names. They each represent a large number of complex organizations and relationships which are entangled with each other or even fighting against each other. Some things can't be done just in one way. That's why Judas came into being. Her tone's just like Juno's. No wonder they're partners. Do you have any uh, do you have any objections to this? I wouldn't dare. How would you like your coffee? The same as always. Please. So you finished talking, Miss? With Miss? All the things we handed to her have been handed over. We don't need to worry about the rest. What I don't quite understand is that Rose is obviously ahead in terms of the study of Ino's application. Why is she still concerned about the progress there? Maybe she's just trying to be prepared. After all, their infiltration of Rose has never stopped. Why is everyone after Ino's? Obviously, we can live well enough without it. You think everyone can be as strong as you? The samurai lady can take down a horde of crystallids without a gun? Ooh. She got skills. Uh, me too. I'm still young, so I don't want to hear something I don't- I shouldn't know about and be silenced. These two cups are on me. Let's stop talking about dangerous topics, okay? <laughs> yeah, alright, alright. For the sake of the coffee. Okay. Now, what, what do I get for this? Commander, thank you. 500? I read that. Moments. With Granier on, with Granier on the team, we'll have our, we'll have gourmet dinners every night. Welcome, welcome to Squad Zero Eight. Uh, 
Quoting report on Cecilia, the survivor. According to Princess Island Management, non Rose personnel cannot stay on for more than three days. As a result, no man's branch of the city has been contacted. Chief of the branch, uh, they have not found any information on Cecilia. Understood. It's not uncommon to lose personal personnel files during war. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Kiriko? How can I help you? Intelligence Officer Kiriko. Uh, Kiriko. I'd like to ask you to help me investigate Cecilia. Survivor from the Nomads. You suspect her? Well, keep feeling something's off. I didn't, you know, I didn't know you were so paranoid. That's scary. Shall I take it as I'm cautious? <laughs> anyway, I'll initiate investigation, uh, investigative actions within my jurisdiction. And I'll notify you as soon as I have any news. Don't worry. Okay. Commander Granate, the medic, reporting for duty, squatting. Got it. Don't need to be so formal, though. I run a cafe on Princess Island. People call me manager. You can call me that, too. You joined us covertly by forging your name on the uh, KIA list, so you might as well pretend to be a waitress at our cafe. Okay, if you need me to put uh, for anything in the cafe, just let me know, manager. Oops, I, I, I just clicked something. No problem. It would be my honor to help. Hey, welcome aboard. Yes, it will be a pleasure to work together. Okay. Um, what else we got here? There we go. Claim something else. Hmm. There we go. Uh... Event. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is supposed to be. What can I do here? Claim all. I can't claim all, can I? I can claim this, I guess. I don't really understand what I'm doing here. Participate. I guess I can just do this? Alice the King. Ha ha ha. In the sun, the beach. Everything belongs to me, guy. Wow, there's a talking... What is that? While we're enjoying a genuine beach vacation, we come across a group of strange bird-like creatures of an unknown race. How dare you disrespect me like that, guy? <laughs> what are these yellow balloon guys? Beach mascots? <laughs> Red-lipped Alice is created by doc, uh, director Luo Zhen. Zen. Luo Zhen. Okay, Luo Zhen. I think. I guess. Then that's their leader. Those king things have a king. Hmm. You got a good eye. That's right. We are all the noblest species on earth. Alice is hot. Humans grovel beneath my feet. Everyone look, there are a lot of cute Alice's here. They're all clumped together, so furry. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's tickle, stop tickling my feet. Get back here, it's shameful how you act around girls. Gah. Sarah, have you seen these things before? They're not some secret biological weapon, right? 
Quite the contrary, even though their products are biological engineering, they pose no threat, and they're lazy. It's no problem if you treat them like toys or pets. I thought they might have escaped from the research center. Turns out people there are too lazy to care. Yeah, that makes sense. I have an idea. Since everyone is so lively, why don't we have a water gun fight? Some unnatural organisms? Let's not. Safety is one consideration. The other consideration is... How can those things rub themselves on the girls? <laughs> you lowly human, how dare you attempt to banish a noble species like me? A chicken king with sausages for lips. Has no right to talk big. My lips were born this way. You gotta teach me a lesson. Ow! You hit me! Want me to barbecue you right now? Energy, do you need my help? Did you just lick that knife? It's okay, I can manage. Moon lends a hand, the whole beach will be painted red, which will mean the end of our vacation. <laughs> Let's ignore those two idiots. We'll go play by ourselves. You get along well with Alice's. <laughs> Everyone, let's go have our water gun fight. You heard what they said. I did. Unforgettable. Then you. Let go. Let's call a truce. We'll let go together. One, two, three. Let go. Uh, I'm so tired. We must teach them a lesson. I second that. Since we have the same goal, why don't we team up? I agree, you should be honored. Put my hand on the wing of this thing, forming a temporary team. I'll look for a chance to blame everything on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a devil. <laughs> I'm such a devil. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Let's go scout our enemies. Even this stupid guy is up to no good, too. You hide behind a wall and eavesdrop. <laughs> when it comes to water gun fights, you haven't. You have to use absolute firepower so the enemy can't return fire. There's no sense of achievement if you can't do combos. Mm -hmm. Talking about this like it's Smash Bros. Attack with everything. Well, I haven't uh, done that in so long. Oh. Wait, 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 Moon. Did you forget what manager usually tells you? <laughs> Moon, if you get serious, it won't just be a gut water gun fight. <sighs> Maybe you should just be on defense with me. <laughs> Perfect. Sarah and I will be on offense. <laughs> I'll team up with Jenny to create an impregnable wall of defense. The girls split into two teams, each with their own army of Alice's. Splitting up? Great. We can take them out one by one while they're busy. What's our first move? Uh... They've got the crazy, uh... Like, bloodthirsty girl in defense. Let's go after the offense. Good idea. Their formation is scattered. Let's follow them quickly. Well, no use hiding there. A group of Alice's run by with the sound of blah. The color of their water guns. It must be ambush set up by Scarlet. A starlet. Hmm. So they're being clever, stopping us from setting up our formation, huh? <laughs> Beating me is a fool's fantasy. Go play hide and seek with the sharks. The warm sunshine made uh, these indecent man made creatures with a hint of cuteness, and the sea and the use of water guns. A strange summer has officially started. Free Earth Coin. Okay. I guess we only have a certain amount of time to do these? I don't really know. How does this work? Oh, it's a fight. So we'll actually fight this time. I think. Don't let them hide in the bushes. None shall escape. Gonna be those little uh, creatures. Nope, I'm not sure what these are. Wait, two of four. Wait, who are you? They're like ninjas. Ow! Hamehameha! What's that? 
Oh, it's an Alice. Get it. Destroy it. Okay, we got it. Wave three. I can't tell what those are. They look like like a Pokemon Nidorino. Just just it comes out of the sand. Another Alice. Okay, good. Oh boy. The last wave. Got them both. Give me that. Oh, it's two of them. Down you go. Level nine. I like it. this? Trying to figure out exactly what I'm doing here, but there's something we got. Level reward. Clear reward. I do want to see this, though. Mop, I don't have enough. Uh... Let's use these since we have them. Cheerleaders outfit. I think I already had that. What do we get this time? Oh. And I have that one too. Okay. That's all for that, because I'm not going to do any more of that other. Not going to risk it. But I do think that is going to be where I stop for today. And yeah, that's going to be our stopping point. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try to figure more of this game out, even though it's still kind of confusing. But We'll see what all we can get out of here. But, um, as always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check out my other stuff. And we will see you next time. Later.